Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a super easy look using minimal products. And for foundation, I am going to be testing the La Prairie. This is their Skin Caviar Powder Foundation. And this has been described to me as magical powder. I'm not someone who really loves powder foundations, but we're going to be giving this a try. It is supposed to give me a luminous matte finish along with some coverage. So we're going to be putting this foundation to the test. We're going to be playing with these new Armani. These are the Neo Nude Color Balms. These are for your cheeks and eyes. And I can't wait to share my thoughts on these with you. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the La Prairie Skin Caviar Powder Foundation, as well as these new Neo Nude Color Balms, then let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone, and happy weekend. I hope your weekend is off to a good start. I've got some new fun goodies to play with, specifically this La Prairie. This is the Skin Caviar Powder Foundation. And as many of you know, I'm not a huge powder girl, but this is supposed to be magic and a little compact, and we're gonna be using that. So first, what I thought I would do is put on a little concealer ahead of time, since it's a powder foundation, and going to go ahead and use my Kosas. This is the 2.5, and yes, I am still having a love affair with this, and I don't want to put too much on, but I'm just going to kind of highlight my skin just a little bit. And I'm going to use my fingers and I'm just going to pat that in to start with. I'll use a brush in a minute, but this is just a really lovely higher coverage glowy concealer and it feels so lovely on the skin. Okay, so I put a little bit of that concealer on my skin, brightening up underneath the eyes. And then we're gonna be using this La Prairie. This is the Skin Caviar powder foundation. So the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation has been a long time fave and I was recently introduced to the La Prairie Skin Caviar Powder Foundation. And as many of you know, I'm not a huge powder girl and I was told that this is a magical powder foundation that you can just kind of press and roll into the skin, actually get some coverage, and that it will provide a luminous matte finish. So that was very intriguing because lately I've just been wanting simple makeup. So it comes in a very nice, pretty compact. So this compact has two mirrors. You get one magnified mirror and then one regular mirror. So that was a nice little touch and this is fantastic for travel when you want quick and simple makeup. Now I did go ahead and pick up the La Prairie foundation brush. This is a nice soft dense powder brush, kombuki style domed brush. And you certainly can use your own synthetic dome kind of kombuki brush, but we're going to use the full technique with the brush and the powder. Now I picked this up in creme pêche and this color is described as light with neutral undertones. And that is the one thing I would say is the La Prairie color selection is quite limited. But we'll see how this color works. Pulling you in just a bit. So what you do is you take 
the brush and you're going to put some powder on here. You don't want to tap it off. What you want to do is you want to press and roll this into your skin because this is actually a foundation. So we are going to press and roll this on to the skin. Okay, so here is the powder foundation on the skin, and it's supposed to provide a luminous matte finish. And we can see what you think. So far in person, it's providing a lot more coverage than I expected. And I am seeing a little bit of glowiness kind of peek through underneath the skin as well. So of course I love the idea of the easy buff on foundation, quick, easy, fantastic for travel, but we'll see how this wears. For some reason it's hard for me to imagine that this powder is going to kind of hold up all day long, but I will do a check-in and we can kind of see how this wears throughout the day. Moving on, I did end up picking up two of these Armani. These are the Neo Nude Melting Color Balms, and these are for cheeks and eyes. So I picked up two of these. I love the cases here. I think they're so adorable. This one's in 20, cool brown, and then I have number 50 in mauve. So this is cool brown in number 20, and then I've got mauve over here. And let me give you a swatch. And here is a swatch of number 20. And then over here is number 50 in mauve. And the texture of these are amazing. They're so silky and they're so easy to blend. So I'm going to start with this cool brown and I'm going to use that as my bronzer here on the cheeks. Just going to use my finger first and then I will blend these in. You can totally use your finger, you guys. They are so easy and blendable. But I'm just going to kind of put a little bit here. I'm taking my It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion brush and they just blend in seamlessly to the skin. Isn't that so pretty on the skin? I put a little bit up on the forehead, on the bridge of the nose, anywhere there, anywhere where sun would naturally hit the skin. And then I'm taking a little bit of this and going underneath my chin, bringing it down. So this is cool brown. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the mauve as blush as well as use these on the eyes. We're doing real simple makeup today and I cannot express to you how easy these are to blend in. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on the apple of my cheeks and then I'm just going to blend that in. Did you see how easy did you see how easy these blend into your skin? They don't disappear, but these are like the best formulation for being able to blend them in effortlessly. And you can kind of build up what you want. I'm just putting a little bit kind of on the apples of my cheeks 
here and then we'll and then extending just a little bit out I just want more of a fresh faced look And this is the combination of cool brown as well as mauve. I love the texture of these. So now we're going to use these on my eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of cool brown. I'm going to put that in the crease of my eyes and then we'll tap on some of that mauve. I'm actually going to use a little bit of a brush just because when I start to use my fingers, on my eyes it kind of makes a little bit more of a mess for me so I am taking a little bit of the cool brown and placing that in the crease and just kind of on the lid as well Here's a light wash of that cool brown on the eyes. Love those. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the mauve right here. We'll place that on the lid. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this cool brown. I'm using this brush. This is BK Beauty and this is brush 204. Just taking a little bit of this cool brown and I'm going to just run a little bit underneath my lash line. Okay, so here's what these look like. Just a nice little wash on the eyes. Really super simple and I cannot get over the texture of these balms because they truly come on creamy and buttery and then they finish like a powder. So seriously loving these to the point where I want to get a few more colors. That's how much I love the texture and the ease of these. So if you picked any of these up, let me know what colors you got because I'm absolutely loving the texture of these. Okay, I'm going to put a little eyeliner on on the top. I'm going to tight line with my favorite Chantecaille Luster Glide and this one is in Slate. And I'm just going to define the upper lash line. Then on the bottom lashes, I'm going to tight line the lower lash line with Brune Agape. So I kind of like to use that chestnutty brown on the bottom to bring in a little bit of that. And I love slate that's going to give, and I like slate on the upper lash line that's a little bit deeper. So I'm going to take Brune Agape from Chanel Stilo U. Okay, we have defined the eyes and then of course I need to put on mascara and today I'm going to be using the Tom Ford Extreme Mascara and this one has the rather large brush and I'm going to go ahead and coat the lashes. Okay, we've got mascara on and then we've got that real simple eye using these Neo Nude Melting Color Balms. Love, love, love these. I'm going to finish off the overall look using my Sicily bronzer here, with my La Mer fluffy brush. And I'm just going to give myself a little finish with that.
And then for lips, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. These are the Ultra Tenue Duo lipsticks from Chanel. One side has a liquid lipstick and the other has gloss. And Tender Beige is just a fantastic color. The beauty of these is that you put on the liquid lipstick, which is actually quite comfortable, top it with the gloss and it lasts and lasts all day long. So I'm going to put this on. This is the first layer of Tender Beige and you basically want to let it dry before you put on the gloss side. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on my fragrance of the day. And today I am going to be using Fragrance Dubois. This is Santal Complet. This is a creamy sandalwood fragrance. The base in here is amber, sandalwood, and musk, but then it's got a little bit of lightness. It's got coconut, it's got lemon in here, and a little layer of violet. So it's a really beautiful, easy, soft, creamy sandalwood fragrance. And I was told if I did the little regime where I used the boom boom, I was calling it the bum bum cream, the Sol de Janeiro boom boom scrub, followed with the Boom Boom Cream, and then layer it with Santal Complet. It's gonna give this fragrance a little more oomph because this fragrance is gorgeous. It's definitely a softer wear. It isn't going to have huge projection. It's part of the reason I like it. But if you are someone who wants to amp up that tropical vibe in here, bring out a little bit more of the coconut in here, then layering it with the Boom Boom Cream is a perfect solution. So that is what I have done. I have already showered and used the Boom Boom Scrub. Then I used the Boom Boom body lotion and then I layered it with Santal Complete and I believe it was Andrea Reynolds who told me this. Um, she was right. It gives this fragrance a little bit of an extra lift, a little bit more oomph to it. So I wanted to try that combination and I was also glad to pull this out and use this because it's such a gorgeous fragrance. Now my lips are dry. We're going to go ahead and top it with the gloss, seal it all in. And this is Tender Beige. Okay guys, this is my final look of the day. I am going to do a check-in so we can see how this powder foundation is wearing. It's an expensive powder foundation, so you gotta love it. And my fear with this foundation is just that it's going to look dry and cakey. That is not the look I'm going for, but I do love the idea of a quick powder off on kind of foundation, especially for travel. So this is what it looks like right now. Definitely feel like it's giving me a little bit of a luminous look on the skin. Does not look super dry or cakey. I will wear this for a bit and check in and we will see if this is magical or not. So I am ready for the day. I'm going to go run some errands. I will check back later, but I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend and I will be excited to see how this wears. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after eight plus hours of wear on my more dry, mature skin. And I forgot to mention, I didn't prime my face or anything. I just did my normal skincare routine and I always end my skincare routine with my Glow Skin Beauty Solar Shade SPF 50. That's what I use before all my makeup. So there was no 
priming underneath, I just used the powder foundation. I'm hoping you can see it actually gives me a very glowy finish on the skin. Definitely getting a little shine through the T-zone. I did go out and take a long walk. It is very humid today here in Portland, so it's hot, humid. So I'm getting a little breakthrough through the T-zone. But overall, I think what surprised me the most is that I was thinking a powder foundation would not have that much coverage. And I do feel like it is giving me coverage on my skin. I feel like I've got a little bit of wear off around the nose area. That is because it is allergy season and I did sneeze a few times. So I did use a tissue and I wiped off some of the foundation that way. Other than that, I feel like overall it stayed on my skin for quite some time. I think I will touch up just a little through the T-zone just to show you that I'm just going to kind of touch up around the nose where I wore it off. And I forgot to mention that it does come with its own little unique puff because you can apply the powder with the puff in a rolling motion. So this technique is going to give more coverage. So you can build this up on your skin, but yes, this is a powder and I don't know how much powder you're going to want to layer on. So I would recommend that you really buff this into the skin so that it is seamless. So, so far my thoughts on this La Prairie Skin Caviar powder foundation is that I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not someone who gravitates towards powder foundations, but I absolutely love the ease of the application. So easy to put on. I think this is going to be fantastic to travel with. I was surprised that it had so much coverage and that it really did provide me with more of a luminous finish. It is described as a luminous matte, modern matte finish, and I would say that is definitely true. For those of you that love La Prairie products, it does include their cellular complex that's included or infused in this powder foundation. I definitely feel like that is the key because I was really not expecting this to have such a luminous kind of glowy finish on the skin. It described this as being a cashmere finish and I definitely feel like that is true. This feels like nothing on the skin. It definitely meshes with the skin and becomes one. If you were to see me up close, you would not detect that I'm wearing a bunch of makeup on my face. It kind of looks like skin and the powder actually feels almost a bit creamy when you're applying it on the face. So it glides on very silky, but it has a creamy texture to it. So it's very interesting. And this is something that I would not gravitate towards normally because I barely even like to put powder on my face. But once I heard the words magic and luminous, I was like, we might as well give this a try. And I had been asked if I have a favorite powder foundation and I literally had none. As far as the matching brush, this is very soft. I think it did a great job applying the product. Do I think you need to buy this with the foundation? Absolutely not. You probably have a very similar brush to this in your stash at a much lower price point, but I actually do really like the feel of it. Super soft and it applied the product fantastic. Those are my thoughts so far. You guys can let me know what you think about the finish on the skin. Again, I'm sort of pleasantly surprised by this. I did not think I would like it whatsoever, but I will continue to play with this foundation. I will keep you posted on my final thoughts on this. I do think I will take this to LA with me because it's going to be quick and easy makeup. I know I'm going to be super busy during that college drop off, but again, I'm going to want to look a little bit put together. So this seems like a perfect item to take with me. So I will keep you posted and I hope that this was helpful 
If you already own this foundation, let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Just curious as to different skin types and how it reacts and such. So you guys, that's it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I will be back with another video soon.